everyone. I'm incredibly happy to be receiving this award. There are so many talented women in this industry, including those at the symposium today. So it's quite a bit of a surprise and an honor to even be considered. I have to thank Julian Wright for my nomination. He's been my manager for the past seven years across two different organizations and he's been a big part of my growth and my achievements. I'm of course very grateful to the Women in Payments Awards Committee for thinking that I'm award worthy. I said it before that there are so many talented people in this exciting and complex industry and I frequently feel imposter syndrome working in it. And even now, I still feel like there are others that deserve this award way more than me, but uh, I'll take it. I'm very happy about it. It's a bright spark in my life that makes me feel like I can do anything. Um, I love that there's an organization like Women in Payments that's connecting women and enabling these bright sparks. So I'm excited to become part of this community and I really look forward to continuing to pay it forward. Thank you for the award. Wow, this is very humbling, thank you. Uh, I wanted to first just congratulate all of the nominees today as it's pretty clear that there's an incredible calibre of women amongst whom I've been nominated today, so I'm very proud to be part of this group. I wanted to just thank a few people very quickly, starting with my colleagues at PayPal who actually nominated me. They push me to be better uh, every day and they lead by example, so thank you very much. Um, I'd also really like to thank all of the incredibly resilient and talented businesswomen in regional and rural Australia who have stepped up um, and started or continued building businesses when your families and communities have needed it most, giving Buy From The Bush a burning platform to which it can be successful. And finally, to the founder of Buy From The Bush, Grace Brennan, who identified this need and put a solution into existence, being Buy From The Bush, She's by far one of the most intelligent and inspirational uh, people that I've come to meet and has been a career highlight to be able to form a partnership between them and PayPal and, um, you know, make this movement really successful and really advocate and champion these female business owners um, as part of a marketing campaign and a partnership. So finally, thank you to all the women that I've been able to work alongside throughout my career, those who have advocated for me and mentored me in a fairly male dominated industry, it's pretty important that we all invest in each other's growth and shared success. Uh, so thank you again. Hello and thank you. Thank you to the people that nominated me and thank you to the people that voted for me. If I am a thought leader, I've got here through listening. And I don't mean that in a superficial way. I, I mean that in quite a structured way. And there are three ways that I've listened uh, over the course of my career. So the first way of listening is to listen iteratively. And that's especially important with industry work and to, to bring collaboration and consensus. So I listen with my finger over the pause, rewind, pause, fast forward, pause, rewind. It's a really important way of building consensus. The second way that I found really helpful is listening globally. I've been lucky enough to work for organizations that have had global representation. I've been in roles where I've had to analyze global trends and think about the implications for the organization I've been working with. And I found that often what you see in different countries are seeds in the success and failure. And while you can't wholesale copy and paste because the legislation is different, consumer appetite is different in different countries, there's certainly something to be learned from the trends globally. And the final point is to listen over a long time. You know, many of the ideas that we're seeing come to the fore now in payments are not new. It's just that the context has shifted and the preconditions for success have changed. And that might be a new regulatory change. It might be new technology. But we see many ideas that tried to start 10, 15 years ago becoming really successful now. So thank you once again. And um, 
many thanks especially to Christy and the team at Women in Payment. Thank you, Women in Payments, for considering me for this award for innovation in the payment space and recognising my work on Blackhawks Network's ultimate range of multi-store gift cards. Developing and nurturing the ultimate gift cards has been a career highlight for me. I'm proud to have helped to fill a gap for consumers looking for a gift card that is personal while still offering the recipient both flexibility and choice. In addition, these cards can deliver incremental value for both Blackhawk and its retail distribution and merchant partners. Innovation, as we know, is critical to the payment industry. It can have a lasting impact on the space and change its course over time. To be acknowledged for my work in this area is a tremendous honour. I thank Blackhawk for believing in the ultimate range of gift cards and supporting its initial development and expansion of these products. I'm also thankful for the inclusive and supportive culture Blackhawk has cultivated where women are able to grow and thrive. I also wanted to acknowledge Blackhawk CEO and President Talbot Roach, who strongly supported my nomination for this award and is an inspiration for me. Again, thank you Women's in Payments for this honour and also for the important work in supporting the advancement of women in the industry. What an absolute honour to receive this Lifetime Achievement Award for the 2020 Distinguished Payments Professional. Huge thanks to Women in Payments, Christy and her team, the judges, the sponsors, and also the other finalists. So what we're showing is we as women are becoming a driving force in the revolution of the payments industry. And that's what we're seeing And over the course of the last few days we saw how we are impacting the world of payments globally. And so what an exciting time that we're living in. And over the course of the last couple of days, we've just seen the impact that we're having. So what we're also seeing is that there's a connectivity between the startup community and the incumbents. And I myself, as a startup specialist, had been working in, in the startup space for over 25 years. So being the recipient of this award shows me the bridge that we're building between the incumbents and the startup community. And big shout out to Stone and Chalk, Alex Skandara and his team who are really working to build this bridge. So again, very excited, so humbled, um, super excited to be the recipient of this award. Thank you all so much. Thank you.